what is going on everybody back on it one piece 473 um some crazy developments last episode whitebeard has he has done something <laughs> he really hasn't been given any orders he hasn't really done anything um but he has physically joined the fight um me personally i don't think it makes a difference um, I didn't think Whitebeard had a chance before I saw what his ability is, what his crewmates ability are, or were, is. I didn't think he had a chance before I knew what he could do, what his crew could do, who he would bring with him and what they could do. <clears throat> just from a sheer number standpoint, I didn't think he had enough unless he was just like that busted. Now clearly he does seem to be that busted, but this isn't... It's just like a different universe. I don't think you're just going to get... This isn't like a a Madara running through a bunch of low-level, like, ninjas, you know? Like, hitting the war scene and him just going crazy where he could just run through so many. Um, and those are just... Two, and just thinking of that scenario, <clears throat> do you think... And I don't know, and I don't know if we'll see it in flashbacks or anything like that. I don't know what a prime white beard looks like. Clearly, he's not in his prime. Not only is he not in his prime, like, okay, he's a little bit older. You know, Garp's older, you know. Some other guys are older. But he seems to, it's been, it's been hinted at, I think it's been stated, and it was the first thing we saw of him. He's got a, a condition, a sickness, an illness. You know, the classic anime, we got to give this strong character some kind of like incurable disease or cancer because they're just too strong. Um, so, and so not only is he old like Garp, which is fine, you know, old people could still, you know, fuck shit up. But he's got a quote unquote condition, I think is what they've named it or listed it as in the show. So he's older. Okay. He has an underlying sickness. Um, I don't know if he's always had it or it's just developed. And he was just recently stabbed. So all those things stacking up against him. Um, now, even with all that, just from like the vibe I'm getting, you know, they're still refer like he is king of the pirates. Like if you want to, if you don't want to call him that directly and like that's reserved for whoever finds the one piece on a technicality. Sure, sure. Fine, fine. You keep that title for whatever you want. Um, he's the strongest pirate in the world, if you want to say that. <laughs> They're, they were calling him the strongest man in the world, this entire arc, up to last episode. Um, so strongest man, king of the pirates, leader of the pirates, whatever you want to say. He is him, as far as like whatever a pirate could reach at this point in the story, he is him. Um, so I would wonder, like, if he got to go through everybody one-on-one, -on -one, do we think he would come out on, like, this current version of Whitebeard? Older with the sickness or whatever it is, and being injured, could he? do you think he could run through everyone one after another if he got the chance to run by run them one by one? Clearly, he's never going to get that opportunity. They are not going to, like, grant him that, oh, you know, let's get... No. They're going to jump his ass <laughs> if, they are, if they can make it happen, you know? But I'm curious. In his current state right now, stabbed, sick, old, do you think he could beat everybody here one-on-one? -on -one? And then I guess the second question of that would, which I'm hoping to maybe we'll get flashbacks of, do you think him in his prime not being injured and not having this underlying condition, could he one-man army this? Like, could he run through them? I'm talking all admirals, vice admirals, Doflamingo's wild puppet ability that I don't even know how you counter, you know, uh, Kuma, Mihawk, all of it. Do you think if we were to just revert him back, I don't know, whenever the sickness started, take him to that point in his prime, do you think him jumping down there, it's like game over, like he could actually like do this? Because I don't believe he can do this right now. I have no faith that he pulls this off. Zero. Absolutely zero. I'm sure we'll get some cool scenes. We'll get some cool moments. He'll shrug some shit off. He'll clap some people with his quake ability. Maybe we'll even see him do something hockey related and have others like speak on it. Like, oh shit, that's his conqueror's hockey. Or they'll make comments about it or whatever. I think we'll get some cool moments. But do I think he joining the effort, going on a rampage, running wild, 
makes them succeed in their goal of getting ace and then getting out of here i do not i think he i would i think he gets put down i think he dies before he even before he even gets a finger on ace in my opinion i don't think he makes it to him um now if he was in his prime not sick and not injured could he i don't know because i don't know what a prime white beard could do it's not like his devil's fruit has gotten weaker you know i don't think devil's fruits get worse like power output with age i think that's still there but just like they were commenting last episode like an attack like that should have never hit him you should have seen that coming you should have never been able to stab him etc etc could a 30 year younger white beard just clean this out i don't know because it's so hard to tell and it's another thing too because i don't know what some of the others look like if they go all out either. We haven't seen like really Kazaru or Okaji or even Garp. We haven't even seen what he could do, honestly. Or some of the other ones really like go to that next level, you know? Because we, we've seen it with some of the Devil's Fruit, like with Luffy, for example. We've seen what he's been able to do. Like I, I chalk it up to a lot of like My Hero Academia and them taking their quirks, like they have their base level quirk of like what it could do. But, like, given time and them training it up, like, it can start doing more than just what you think it could do. So, with, like, Ru <laughs> I almost said Rufy. With Luffy's basic rubber ability, you know, we see that on a day-to-day. -day. In any random slice of life episode, he'll do something rubber-related. Or any just kind of, like, baseline fighting episode, he'll do something. He'll throw his bazooka out there or, you know, do whatever he does. But then we've seen him develop this gear 2, develop this gear 3. I'm sure it's not going to end at 3. We might get gear 10, 7, 32. I don't know. But I would assume that others can hone in on that with their Devil's Fruits as well. I don't know if Okaji has something that we haven't seen on screen yet. If Kazaru or, you know, XYZ. All that to say, I think we'll get some cool moments here. I do not think him joining the effort changes the outcome. Um, I don't think Whitebeard makes it out of here alive. And I'm curious if he knew that coming into this. Like, because we haven't seen a plan, right? I don't see a Fishman army coming in or, uh, um, what's his name? Jimbei communicating with animals, communicating with mermaids to then communicate with sea kings and have, I don't see, we haven't seen the vision. We haven't seen like a tactical breakdown. We've just seen white bear trying to just throw bodies at it and hope it succeeds and it hasn't so him just jumping down there i don't think it changes anything he might fuck some shit up but i think white bear dies when this is over and i wonder if he was willing to accept that and i wonder if he ever thought he truly had a chance to like actually just walk up in there kick the door down grab ace and leave i don't know we'll see we'll see i don't have high hopes for this though <laughs> uh let's see what we got though Let's see what we got. Orz Jr. dead body. Imagine he got up. Imagine Orz Jr. like... If, if he could just like stand up for two seconds, he'd fuck some shit up. Here we go. And that piece of shit really let his mind get swayed. Last episode. Quake it. Good God. Ooh, nice. Y'all better... F That's what I'm saying. They said charge with him. They need to formulate their attacks all around him. Bruno or Marco. I forget what his name is. I'm never going to remember. They need to be on his ass. Like, he needs to be flying around with that Phoenix shit around, like, build your attacks off of him. Do something. Luffy, fall back and fight with, like, they need to fight around him. Him just out there solo. Like, I get he's great and everything. But I need you out there. They can't get through the ice. Yeah, they can't close it. How great is that? And I was thinking about this the other day, because I've been still waiting for, like, who who let us in, right? Somebody still let Luffy, Crocodile, Jimbei, Ivanko, etc. They let them in, right? I'm starting to wonder if, like, the Marines let us in. Um, to maybe kill two birds with one stone. 
they got word and knew that Luffy was heading out there on a marine ship to Ace from Impel Down. Um, I wonder if they're like, hey, if you see a ship roll up here, um, let them in. They're not going to cause that much of a, of a ruckus. They're not going to cause that much of a ruckus. Let Luffy in. If we can kill two birds, if we can get three birds with one stone, we can get rid of Ace, Whitebeard, and Straw Hat, who's been causing such a ruckus out there in the streets. Um, then let's do it. Let him in. I'm curious if that's the... Or we're really going to see who let us in. I don't know. Yeah, no shit. You've done a terrible thing, bro. Lucky for you, though, I don't think you stabbing Whitebeard made a difference in the outcome of how this is going to go. Still doesn't relieve you from the fact that, like, why... Like, you're that easily mentally swayed, bro. Mm-mm-mm. Yo, Bruno, Marco, I don't... I forget your name. I need you to get in there. I need you giving Ariel Phoenix blue flame support. I think his name's Marco. Get on out there, buddy. Wasn't Diamond Boy, wasn't he being controlled? Again, I don't know the specifics on Doflamingo shit. Can he only control one at a time? How does it run out? How does it activate? Can it be countered? TBD. Mm-mm-mm. Where's Luffy at? There he is. Speak of the devil. I was also thinking about this the other day, too. I've totally... I don't know what the episode number count is. Are we over 100? No way. Are we? Um, take out what we just got with them. I don't know how many episodes it's been. How long has it been since the archipelago shit with the crew? I'm so disconnected from the original Straw Hats that I feel like I hold no connection to them at this point in the story. It's been that long. That like, I was thinking about like, man, I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, man, I really wish Zoro was here. But that's really about it. Like, I'm so disconnected from the Sanji, Chopper, Usopp, Nami crew and storyline that, like, if we never circle back around, I'd be fine with the way the story's going. I feel like we get introduced to enough interesting characters that I don't need them on screen for anything, you know? But, you know. This doesn't look good that they would close, they would run. Yo, I need you to quake that underground shit. Like, just get rid of it. Whitebeard, you like jumped down and said all this shit, but you're still standing in one spot, buddy. Again, just throwing bodies at the door. What's the play here, man? Yo, crocodile. Fight with us. Do you know what a smoke... Uh, uh, sand smoke screen could do right now. Oh, look at this big bitch. How many vice? Oh, never mind. I was about to say, how many vice admirals do we got that are giants? But we had a whole lineup. You see what? Do you see what the destruction he's causing? Vice Admiral John Giant. Imagine if you guys just like just s formulated a battle plan around ores. My God, if ores and whoo, if ores and Whitebeard were out there at the same time, oh my God, that was such a waste of ores in my opinion of a character and just like a, a military use of him. What the? What's happening? What is he grabbing? What is he? What's what? I don't know. I don't know what this is. That, I, huh? That's got to be hockey related, no? Or no, I, I don't know. I don't know. My man's over here tilting Earth itself. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Hello. My man just like bent reality around him. 
But then, like, also, but not only reality around him, he, like, physically bent everything else around him as well. What? Bro. He, like, separate... What? He, like, cut the sea into sections. What is happening? Maybe he put different levels of quakes through the ground or something? What the hell? God, Luffy is so outclassed. <laughs> Like that's what we've gotta we've gotta get to this level. I don't know if Luffy will ever get to like what? I, I don't know. That's some somebody better get him before there's water under there somewhere. I'm so curious if there's a counter to Doflamingo's shit because what's stopping him from just like because we've been see him just we've seen him just saucerying people on command, right? Just mm, freeze, mm, freeze, pop, pop, pop. What's keeping him from just like in a scenario like literally just like this from just looking dead at Whitebeard and just sticking him, like controlling the shit out of him? I don't know. I don't know what the counter is to that. Because I'm assuming it's not, it's, it's not going to be like Nen related where like He's got to say something. You've got to respond. Or you've got to like meet certain conditions for him to control you. Um, I'm assuming he could just do it. Uh, we've yet to. I don't think this this show is going to be anything that where like conditions have to be met for you to activate powers. You know. So what keeps him from just controlling Crocodile, controlling Mihawk, controlling Whitebeard at any point if he wanted to? You know. I don't know. Holy shit. Yeah, I wonder if we're ever going to get the mystery of who let us in. I wonder if they let us in to try to kill us all in one swoop, or somebody on the inside, like, actually help us out. My man just, like, grabbed space and time. What's the damage look like? Just crippled the whole thing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to title him King of the Pirates at the moment. He's still just a standing duck, though. He's literally just stand Like, they could just unload all their power on him. I love the Quake sound effect, too, by the way. Quake Punch? Oh god. Yeah, the quake sound effect is crazy. And is that just all devil's fruit? Is that the aftershock of it going through John Giant's Vice Admiral body? What did, did Goku stop that? I've been waiting to see Goku's power set if he has one. He looked to do something there, I'm not going to lie. It was going directly at them, and then it stopped. And they showed him right before it did. What did he do? What did he do? Huh? What did they do? Hey, is hockey push that? What was that? True, he makes a strong point. What did they do? Did they just three-man hockey push the shit out of that, or what? I mean, sh clearly, there's no way you're going to have an admiral that doesn't know how to use hockey, whether they acknowledge it or not. Oh, man. I was wondering if we were going to get a uh, <laughs> My Hero Academia narrator breakdown screen. Son Goku, Devil's Fruit, blank, ability, blank, and just give us this crazy breakdown. Um, but no, we didn't get anything there. Maybe we just, I don't, I'm, we'll hold out to see if we ever get, clearly he's got to have some ability. Clearly. And we have, we've yet to see Garps. They can't, they can't close. Damn. 
Damn it, Okaji, look what you've done. Talk about the most durable flip-flops this side of the Grand Line. Did he reach? Is he gonna make it? No shot, somebody doesn't snuff him in the face. You're gonna break that shit down in a minute. They broke through it. Of course. That was way too good to be true. What are these, just walls of... Eh. Now, is this, uh... Is this, like, Whitebeard counter? I mean, because he's still quaking that shit down. So, you, I mean, a couple, you know, concrete, steel, thick walls put the between them definitely helps. Are those, uh, shooting holes that I see? So it's concrete with reinforced steel. Um, but what good is it if he just quakes the entire shit? Yep. I knew that's what those holes were for. Yep. It's just a straight fucking firing circle, bro. Where are you going to go? There's no place to run. It can't push through Orr's body. <laughs> yeah. His last sacrifice. God, imagine you just see Orr's hand raise and he just slaps the shit out of that platform. Well, they have an opening. As badly utilized as I feel Orr's Jr. was in this entire thing. He's given us an opening at least. It's the only way in. But doesn't that, that, that like funnels us into a firing line anyway. <sighs> Show me movement. Show me Orr's movement. I'll take back everything right now. I mean, you can still fire away. Like, where are they going to go? I mean, yes, they have like there was, wasn't there an alley behind us in an alley, but either way, they're going to get funneled in. Where are you going to go? You can still shoot the hell out of them. I'm going to... I think I've we made the decision he's not Logia. I think he's more uh, Magellan, where he just covers himself in said Molten instead of uh, actually turns into... Let's just start raining down Molten on everybody with nowhere to run. Or is he trying to, like, burn Orz's large body that's in the way? The lava's gonna come down. Or is he trying to create lightning from the clouds of putting the heat in the air, or what? What are we doing here? Whitebeard, whatever comes falling down, I need you to quake it, okay? <laughs> whatever comes out of the sky, I need you to instantly quake that shit. Like, en like encompass us. We just went dead silent. Uh oh. Something's coming. We got like lightning encrusted lava. What the fuck's going on here? Picking up some speed. Anybody? Oh my god, there's still the form of fist. Oh my god. See what I mean? Like, there's nothing this destructive on our side, if you want to call our or us Whitebeard side. Aside from him, we don't have anything on this level at all. We don't have anything on a, the three admirals. We don't have shit to deal with that. Maybe Marco can deal with Kazaru. That'd maybe be about it. Or maybe Marco could take either one, either three of them one-on-one. -on -one, but even one, he's only taken one. 
we just don't have any area of effect devil's fruits like that man we just don't have it at all i don't know how you deal with it i truly truly do not know shit seems absolutely busted but the lava fist coming out of the sky was a pretty cool effect um now i'm assuming they're trying to go for the i, I was assuming i was trying to think why did he shoot them straight up to come right back down if he was aiming for them anyway but i guess if he's aiming for the ice um he kind of needs to shoot them up and out up and back down instead of straight at them because it probably you know goes past the ice um again i think the most interesting thing is what was it that the the three admirals did right there was that just like an almighty nagato hockey push out the way i'm assuming that has to be has to be hockey i would assume what else is that they're not all three sinking their devil's fruits to that, that can sink together and do, no I just, i'm assuming that just has to be hockey related um now i'm curious the shock wave that whitebeard sent when he quaked through the giant is that just all quake after effect or is that like quake punch hockey release out the backside again i don't know i've kind of stated it i wish we would have had a little you know uh gone in Kilua, heaven's arena here's a quick nen breakdown for like two three four episodes you know before we kind of got into this um and that's easily solved with my arc idea of completely erasing Impel down from One Piece <laughs> and replacing it with Boa getting Luffy in contact with Whitebeard and them going to arrive at this same point to rescue Ace. And along that journey of her linking Luffy with Whitebeard, we learn about hockey and all the things, but we don't, and I don't know anything about it. Um... I thought, because I am curious, you know, that was uh, Goku related there. I was like, what did he do? Are we going to see anything? Like they, they showed him, and then they showed it, like, diverting from its path. And I'm like, oh, shit. What did he do? Like, is that an ability? Um, and they've held kind of pat on that. Now, we might never have Goku get his hands dirty in anything that he would even need to have an ability. I just think it would be cool to know that... What was he, Fleet Admiral? Essentially, he's the highest position a Marine can be, right? In the Navy. Aside from, like, if you want to talk about the Celestial Dragons having power and domination over all positions, sure. But as far as any Marine that we could ever see on screen, he's the highest ranking. You would assume said person has some baseline of hockey ability and he could just have some random devil's fruit that has no power <laughs> i mean they all have you know their their uses but he could have something like that old woman what was she like turning people into like uh, freshly washed clothes i don't know some random shit who knows he could have the most like just basic bubble soap devil's fruit that like doesn't you know it could be whatever um but i am curious like what it is is he gonna is he never gonna really like get in there and get his hands dirty um, not even just in this arc, in any arc going forward that like, he's going to be used and explained like, oh, that's, oh, that's Fleet Admiral Goku's Devil's Fruit ability. And it's just something raw as hell. I'm curious. Um, same thing with Garp. Um, I don't know if it's to be expected that he have a Devil's, that he has a Devil's Fruit. I just typically assume most people have a Devil's Fruit if we see them, um, now, granted, we got introduced to, I forget his name. What was it, Rayleigh? That he probably has a Conqueror's level hockey, I would assume. We don't know if he has a Devil's Fruit. It was never explained, but he's... Honestly... He Again, he's not in his prime. Have we... And again, I don't know. Maybe Shanks is, or maybe Luffy's dad is. Is Rayleigh the... Up, like, is he the second strongest character in the show that we've... That's alive, that we've been introduced to? I don't know what Roger's, you know, full power is, or was... But granted, Whitebeard and Rayleigh are both well past their prime. Um, and he was struggling with Kazaru. Maybe there's other people out there that, like, could put down Kazaru. 
Um, Rayleigh, I mean, Rayleigh probably wins that, but he's struggling with age. But it, but if he's about that strong, they're probably... Now, we're going to get introduced to people as the story goes that are stronger than Rayleigh, that'll probably end up being stronger than Whitebeard, whatever, Um, at the points we saw them in the story. But I think it's safe to say Rayleigh's got to be at least top five strongest character that we've been introduced to up to this point, given his age and everything else. Um, And again, I just don't... And I think we just had to, I feel like I just had to like wave the white flag with it. Just kind of like let it go. I don't think Whitebeard had a plan or strategic move here or a surprise attack or a secret weapon up his sleeve or this is how we're going to do this um, because I feel like we're getting close to the end of it. I don't, I don't know the end episode for Marine Ford. Um, but I feel like every every major card on both sides has pretty much been played. You know, we we see the Marines wanted to like enclose them in, circle them in. They've got the walls up. They want to like just get them in this fucking shooting bucket. Um, they're raining lava fists from the sky. They want to try to take out as many of Whitebeard as they can while taking out Ace. Um, they want to enclose them, kill two birds with one stone. We kind of and you know they chirp in that one. Uh, I don't know, was he a commander? Acquaintances of Whitebeard's ears to get him to, you know, turn on Whitebeard. Like, they, I feel like we've seen all their plotting and scheming and they're like, okay, we're going to try this, we're going to try that, we're going to try X, Y, Z. Um, I doubt that there's really much more to show from them. Like a game-changing move. Um, like strategic move. Now, Mihawk could do something or go crazy or Kazar or so, like an individual can go crazy but I think as far as like seeing a strategic setup of like lying to this dude icing them in raise the walls close them I think like we've seen everything they got and I think we just have to get to a point or I have to get to a point of accepting that Whitebeard there was no there was none of that there wasn't of like if this then that try this but we'll leave this you know up our sleeve Use this person like this. We'll have the, these people show up later. They're going to turn the tide of the fight if we need it. You know, anything like that. It's just been... Here's door. <laughs> Send bodies. And try to see if you can break down that door. And that's been it. The entire time. Just sending fodder at the door. And they're not, they haven't even made it to the door. Honestly, they've been getting shoot, shot down and plucked out. Or's made it there just off pure size and accomplish anything. Um, I mean, I guess he left them an opening, but like, is it really an opening if they're being funneled into that trench anyway? Who knows? Um, but I think I've just got to accept that like, oh, I'm waiting for Whitebeard. I'm waiting for, you know, Arlong and an army of fishermen and sea kings and something to show up or, you know, somebody to go crazy here. Or maybe there's somebody we haven't seen. And I think that this is, this. I think this is just it. This is it. This is this was Whitebeard's plan. Send as many bodies at the front door as I can, and see what happens. But it almost it feels to me like I'm curious his thought process. Did he ever think that he could actually? Because it, it seems to me like the way he's gone about it, and their lack of strategy. Did he even think that this was possible? Like he was just going in here prepared to die. Maybe he's been wanting to die. I don't know. And he's like, well, shit, I don't know if we can actually do this, but I'll try to rescue Ace. And it's probably not possible, but I'll die trying. But even with that, it's like, wouldn't you want to try to come up with something? I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Again, like I said, I'm sure we'll get some cool battle moments from him like we just saw here. I don't know what he just did there. Like, quit, is it like pulling through time and space with his quake ability and like shifting the ocean floor and the physical ice I don't know what the hell that was but I'm sure we'll get some cool moments like that um but I do not think he survives this story now what does that mean for everybody else like if he goes down and they take out ace like how do what happens to like wh what happens to Luffy by the way <laughs> there's like what does Jimbe do grab him and like run but like run where and it's not like Luffy can survive it's not like you can dive down into the water with Luffy if you're Jinbei and just like swim and maybe get out I feel like Jinbei could probably save himself could probably use his 
fishman karate and punch through the ice and get in the water and just gtfo you can't take luffy with him in that way so if like whitebeard was to get captured or put down what's the fate of everybody else in there now we know because he's the main character luffy's not gonna die um or get killed but everybody else could or get captured i guess so what does luffy spend like five years in the pen <laughs> they just they lock him in prisons for his uh um his discretions of what he did at uh ennis lobby and impel down it's like that served that would serve a long time so i don't know because now i'm trying to think about it like this doesn't look good i didn't think it was going to look good before we started it doesn't look any i think it honestly I think it looks worse. I was anticipating more out of Whitebeard's side. And I've gotten less than I expected. Um, I think the time is ticking on his life. And then I don't know what becomes of Ace. But then, of all that though. Like, if Whitebeard goes down, everything goes to shit, by the way. So I think that is going to happen. Whitebeard does die and get gets put down. So then, like, the dominoes after that is where I'm like, okay, what the hell happens? Like, Ace is up there. And if they can't get through, if they can't even at least get to Ace with Whitebeard, they won't get there after that. So it's not like, okay, Luffy, now like, you take it from here. Like, he's not. <laughs> he's not going to take it from here. So if he goes down, what is the fate of everybody else? Like, do they just, like, keep Ace in captivity? Or maybe they kill him too. Maybe they both die. And then it's like, Luffy will probably would be in so much shock that he just probably wouldn't even move. Or he would just rage charge in there and get taken out. But he's not going to die. So, like, what, what do they do with him? And what do they do with, like, Marco and the others? I don't know. Doesn't look good, Bob. <laughs> Something to say about that. It does not look good. But we'll leave it there and see. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, favorite, subscribe. And as always...